Hey friends, I'm so glad you're here with me today. I'm gonna paint a sandhill crane on a, I left the packaging here, on a gallery, level three gallery wrapped canvas, 11 by 14 inch from Michaels. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know I really like them. I did put a coat of clear gesso on it. And then I also, I tightened it up by misting it with water and then drying it with a hair dryer. Sometimes it takes a couple of, of tries. I'll, I have a video where I've done that. I'll link that in this video's description. My uh, reference photo is on Pixabay. Isn't that fun? I love the neck shape. And then I muted the background. I'm, I think I'm gonna aim for some purpley gray colors. I'm gonna use primary colors because I'm in my temporary studio. So titanium white, Mars Black, they're all Liquitex. I think these are all gonna be basics. I use Heavy Body too, they mix really well together. Uh, Cad Yellow Medium Hue. Whoops, yeah. <laughs> like which way is up and which way is front? I'm gonna use Thalo Blue this time. And Quinacridone Magenta. And then the best way to start, in my opinion, is to take a chalk pastel. Um, here, I'm using Hippie Crafter. You can use anything. There's a link in this video's description. Um, I've got chalk pastels from Blick Art Materials. You know, um, I've purchased some really inexpensive Japanese ones on Amazon. And anyway, we got to write the word love. Oh, I don't even know if that's showing up on the canvas before we start. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I mixed kind of a Concord grape color with some black. It really looks dark there. I used a two inch flat brush. It's actually from Low Cornell. You can get them, you might be able to get, they're like chipboard brushes. I think you can get them on Amazon. Oh, that's starting to rust. I don't know if you can see the rust on there. Um, probably Blick Art Materials, Jerry's Artorama, those kind of places. So basically this is upside down because it's drying, but basically I'm thinking, you know, up and down, like there could be trees. You don't really see trees, but you know, off in the distance, something up and down. This is land, so it goes side to side. That's pretty much all I'm thinking. And then I just sort of striped it. It actually looks kind of like water, don't you think? When I mix the color to back up a little bit, I had about equal parts of blue, black, and magenta, and then I put a whole bunch more magenta in it just to make it a little less blue, a little more purple. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to go have some dinner and let this dry, and then I'll be back in a bit. Okay, let's chat about what I'm thinking, what I'm up to. So that's my background color. I added some magenta to it, so it's a little more, hopefully you can see, I think you can. It's a little more grapey purple that's blue purple. Put some cad yellow medium hue out on my palette. I almost always uh, make an orange, red orange, add black to it to make a brown. And then I am using a 
3 8 inch angle brush from Royal and Lane Nickel to get in and I'm painting the dark areas. So that's the shadow underneath the feather. That's the shadow. These are actually some dark feathers. I might lighten up a little bit and then kind of just playing mostly with the dark, the straight up dark purple, little brown. This has more magenta in it. That's making me nervous, but now, so then I got kind of tired of painting these shapes and finding them. Oh, there's one right there I need to paint. And I also drew out a lot of the feathers, which I don't know if I'll paint them all, but I've got it there for security. There you can see I'm painting the shadows. And then I got, got kind of tired of that. So I started to paint the eye, the face, and the beak. So here, let's take a look. There's, there's the shadows I've started to paint up here. And it's, it's, so while this is a simple painting in that it's a portrait of a sandhill crane, it's head and body, you know, simple background, painting all these little things is not simple. You know, I find the edges just like as if I'm doing a puzzle. Find the shape, find, and then paint the color, or paint, paint the shape, and kind of get the value right. Like I know I want, I put not quite white, white right here, just so I remember that it's catching light. But I'm mostly worried about the shape. I think that gets us up to speed. Oh, and I'm also using, I'm really hard on little brushes. It's, it's not wanting to hold a point anymore. It's a number two round from Princeton. Just when I want to paint the eye in order to get a point on it. Here, I haven't talked about that in a little while. You put it, I'm looking for, here, we'll just put it in the white. Well, we'll put it in the brown. So you get it wet and if you roll it, sometimes you can get it to hold a point. So it is, it's still holding a point even though it doesn't when I clean it out. Okay guys, I think that's about it. My only other thought is, is I don't like the background, which happens to me a lot. I haven't talked about that in a while either. Or a lot of times I just don't like my paintings when I'm done because I see all the little things I wanted to happen differently. And then about a week, a month later, I'm like, oh, I like that, you know? <laughs> Let me know if that happens to you. Let me know in the comments. Um, but I might, so sidetrack there. I don't know if it'll work, but I just recently painted a rooster on a green background. It had a busier background, but I might kind of throw in some strokes in the background to mimic my sandhill crane. I don't know if it'll work because this background is much more simple. So, you know, vertical off in the distance, horizontal is the ground kind of thing. Okay, I think that gets us up to speed. I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, this is a couple days later. I keep working on adding feathers. Uh, what I'm thinking is I added some straight up phthalo blue and white in some areas. I had painted all of this in phthalo blue and white and then I kind of broke it up because I'm like, oh, that's too much. Um, so I'm thinking blues and purples up here. This is gonna be pretty much this color and mixed in with some browns down here, which is what I see in the photo. I'm sorry about the glare. And I think I'm gonna to need to go lighter. But if I don't get it light enough, mostly I'm, I'm finding all the puzzle pieces. I find some edges, I find some centers of the feathers, the, I don't know what that would be, the vein of the feather, the feather maybe. 
especially some that I really want to stand out. And then some are quite soft and disappear. Just kind of breaking up the lines and the colors a little bit. I came back and warmed up the, the beak a little bit. I don't really see it in the reference photo, but just to tie some of the browns in over here. I'll eventually come back with red and make the eye almost kind of an orange color. So I'm just building. And then you don't have to paint this like this. You could take a bigger brush, I'm looking for one, and just paint, paint like kind of a darker shape and then a lighter shape and then just kind of indicate some feathers. Don't have to talk about them all. I'm talking about a lot of them just because I like the pattern and I like the way it looks. You totally don't have to do that. And I am painting over onto the side. Let's see if I can get that in here. Just guessing. Oh, I don't know if I can get that in. It's dark. Here, maybe if I turn it this way. Oh, there we go. And I am painting on the bottom, but I, I know I can't flip that in front of the camera. So I thought I'd just pop in. So painting shapes, painting some values just so I don't lose an edge. I can come back and, and then glaze over lose edges if I want to. Having some straight up phthalo blue and white up in here. This is going to be more muted down here, so it kind of keeps you up here. Still don't know about the background yet. I'm liking it better. Oh, and it's sort of analogous, well, analogous is probably not the right, right word, adjacent colors. Um, and then I have a lot of purples and blues. They're, if you look at a basic color wheel, they're next to each other. Okay, I think that's it. So shapes, paint shapes, vary the value, break lines, add lines, just kind of playing with that. I think that gets us up to speed. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, we're at a couple days later again, but I don't think in the time lapse it's been that much time. But I did spend quite a bit of time painting most of the individual, excuse me, individual feathers. Um, and when you paint like one or two, like I painted these and I didn't think it looks that great. But when I look in my phone, I think it's working really well. And then I put white highlights kind of in this area, leaving it darker, more subtle down here. Maybe not darker, just softer here. Oh, before I give you a little tour. So like I might put a line on for the split in the feather and then I might cover it, um, even extend it. I'm gonna find something else to point with. Kind of extended that one beyond the feather. Just put them in here and there. And it helps, it just helps say feather more. So it's a lot of work to do that. Here, let's show you this side while I'm thinking of it. So I just guessed where the feathers would go on the side. You just kind of want the image to carry over. Um, it's a lot of work. It's, it's kind of like a, I don't know, I don't do puzzles very often. It's like a very difficult puzzle, but a lot of fun. And if you just go slow, find the pieces, find the edges, kind of get the values just so you can see things and you can come back and adjust them. And I could, I've been thinking about even darkening this down here a little bit, just to sort of frame the painting a little more. I don't know if I need to. I, I, I think if I do it, it'll be fine. If I don't do it, it'll be fine. So the next part, oh, I don't have my um, iPad open. The next part should be much easier because it's just the neck. And then we'll just have some brush strokes that hint at the short feathers in here. So I'm thinking that'll go fast. And then I don't know, I think like with the rooster painting, I might want to tie this one in too. I've been in that mood 
it doesn't the rooster painting I'll, I'll only get in this video's description I had a lot more motion in the background this is a much quieter background so I'm just not totally sure but we'll keep going and we'll figure it out oh and I think I definitely well the, the eye isn't done it needs I think I've mentioned this before it needs like a lot more orangey or there my cat is attacking my canvases <laughs> I don't know if you can hear and then I want some red over here okay guys I'll be back in a bit Okay, guys, what do you think? <laughs> um, I like that I did this, and I like that I did this. I don't know if I like this. So I use matte medium. You could use water to make my paint more transparent. And I just used matte medium with this light color and then this my blue purple with some white in it. And then at my accidentally, my brush picked up a little magenta somewhere, but I like that. It was a totally happy accident there. The eye turned out really well. I think it looks quite good. Um, and is close to the reference photo. It really does stand out in the photo, which I, I like. I do like, I'm just not sure about this, but I like that because it was just a little too plain back there for me. I mean, you could have left it the way it was. I put in just some sort of fading out feather strokes. I don't know that that really does anything. I did, I pretty much painted that out. So I came back and darkened it up just a little bit. Put a line here, a little darker line there, a couple little darker spots back in here. It's really pretty, the colors are pretty. So I used primary colors um, I, I consider magenta a better primary than red. So magenta, yellow, and phthalo blue. Cad yellow medium hue. And mixed my colors from there. It's, it's, it's really, really pretty, I think. I really like that part. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. I like the hints of straight up phthalo blue and white. Here and there. And then also the white. So that's really strong. Of course, the whole face is strong anyway. The eye would, will grab your attention just because it's a face. Um, but I think th this is fun too. I'm keeping you up here. And then the strongest contrast in the background is up here too. Just some of the things I think about. I don't know if sometimes they don't make a difference. Sometimes they do. Um, this probably looks better. Oh, here, we probably should take a tour. Here, you can see the transparency a little more. I think I'm gonna like it in a couple days. It's just a little different. But you know, that's what's good too, is you try, you get a little brave and you try some things and then you figure out, you just get better. You don't really, I don't really realize it, but when I look back, I'm like, oh, I'm getting better. And this definitely, even though I'm taking cues from the reference photo, this is much more colorful. I don't know how many layers I painted here. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that. There was a loud truck going by, and I didn't want it. I don't know if you could hear it coming, but I didn't. I thought it might be too loud for the video. I don't remember what I was saying exactly. Oh, it's just really pretty, blues and purples. Oh, 
I put quite a few layers, just trying to find the values, lighter, darker, that sort of thing. When you get that close, it's not that neat. It's, it's, it's looser. At least I think so. I, I really, I love you guys' comments, see what you think. But when you get back, of course, especially in the video too, it smooths it out. Okay, guys, it's so fun to hang out with you. YouTube has been the best. I love sharing our art journeys with each other. Oh, I have an Annie Tro Art Friends Facebook group. No pressure to join it. No strings attached. But if you want to share your art with me, that's the best place to do it. Um, thank you. Thank you for your support. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.